welcome back to my channel it's wangoi here and if you're new to my channel i create content around cooking cleaning and organization i also do a bit of hauls here and there and i also share a day in the life vlogs like this one today so guys how are you guys doing i hope you're doing great i am doing fine i am feeling positive i am feeling energetic i am feeling rested i am just in a very very good mood and this is why i decided to start this vlog i've just finished my morning routine you can see my skin is popping please hello thanks are we even going to talk about it no we are not going to talk about my skin anyway guys if you haven't watched my morning routine video please look for the link in the description box to go and watch it but i'll also link it up here so you can click and watch all right yeah so today's vlog is really random it's just i don't know i don't even know what i'm going to do today but i decided to bring you guys along but i have a bit of work to do i have a bit of writing to do and i have um i don't have anything to eat in this house so i need to cook something maybe breakfast or maybe lunch i don't know so we well we we must cook we must cook in this vlog and then i need to collect a package in town which i am not sure i'll do today because i don't know if the timing is right but i'll see and then i've been thinking of looking for more plants see there's one baby of mine there she's one of the few survivors i had like close to 10 plants but now i only have three can you imagine it breaks my heart that they died but they didn't die because i didn't take care of them it's because when i was moving they were kind of bruised so they kind of got an accident so they did not survive the accident so yeah so most of them died but i still have my two monsteras there's that and a snake plant so i've been meaning to just go and shop for plants i might not get them today but i have a few pots that i want to fill up and maybe i can find a few a few more plants so yeah i might go plant shopping later in the afternoon nearby just a place near where i stay they have really beautiful plants so yeah so we will see we all we will do all that but anyway i just want to start my day as i have mentioned i've just finished my morning routine which i shared with you so please watch that video if you want to see i just want to go make a cup of tea settle down and then start writing because there's this article that i should have done yesterday but kenya power decided mm -mm, today is not the day today is the day to rest so i rested a lot a lot yesterday maybe explains why oh god the wind maybe that explains why i'm feeling this energetic it's because i rested a lot yesterday so anyway i need to go start my day i hope you guys enjoy this vlog and if you do please make sure you give it a thumbs up please like the video please please just like the video subscribe if you haven't please please just subscribe how are we going to get to 10k if you don't subscribe please just subscribe also turn on your post notifications that is by tapping the bell that is next to the subscribe button so that every time i have a new video up you are among my first subscribers to see it okay so turn on your post notifications subscribe if you haven't like this video and if you're feeling a little generous please leave me a comment and we can chat all right yeah so guys let's go start this day and see where it takes us ready and i'm just about to start my day so guys if you didn't watch my last video i reviewed this planner so please just please just go watch my morning routine it has so much information you don't want to miss so i'm just about to you know uh just look at my to-do list i did my affirmations and gratitude in the morning so earlier before i started speaking to you guys so i'm going to look at my uh priority list and see what i need to do first and then i'll just get settled and start writing and then i will chat with you later i think i've fallen for you and i don't know why i don't know why you love the summer rain and mid july mid july 
My last name fits you better. When I'm with you, there's no pressure. I miss your worn out sweaters. Weather couldn't compromise our love. I spent too much time on us. And I think you got me stuck on loving you. Hey guys, this is not the best angle to stick to you, but I just feel meh. I know just after I was shouting here <laughs> two minutes ago imagine there is no power power has just gone out and I'm just feeling really disturbed because this is the second consecutive day this has happened yesterday we didn't have power for the better part of the day like from 12 it came back I think past 6 because I wasn't even in the house to know when it came back but now what am I supposed to do like I just sat down to start working luckily my my laptop is charged it can last a bit maybe an hour an hour and a half so maybe I can be able to do a bit of work but this is so inconvenient like I work from home I need power all the time let me see if power comes back and if it doesn't I'll have to come up with a plan anyway guys pray for this power if you see me after this just no power came back if not i'll just continue this vlog maybe tomorrow or as soon as power is back so guys i've decided to make breakfast and just sit and eat because i'm feeling a little uh hungry so i'm going to first make breakfast hopefully this power comes back enough of that negative energy it's time to have a delicious meal let's make some breakfast in your old mustang that your parents bought when they split ways and you felt alone so you have a couple people trying to make up for your broke heart looking for love and i think that i'm a good start i know that you've been through a whole lot but i have to so baby when you're missing me and it feels right and i'm in your dreams like every night i don't know why you won't give me another chance with all our years in an hourglass yeah. I think I've fallen for you And I don't know why I don't know why You love that song My breakfast is done i've made some eggs with butter and coriander and salt and black pepper and some tomatoes you guys by now you know i love raw tomatoes so much and then i've added some avocado for some fat and also to fill me up and let me tell you this combination is is slappage pure slappage if you want to try healthy breakfast options this is a really nice combination tomatoes uh coriander and butter eggs and some avocado and i'll have an orange and a glass of juice i usually don't have juice i prefer tea and water but i have juice a friend of mine brought me some juice so i'm going to sit and enjoy my lovely breakfast and then we'll see where this vlog takes us pray please continue praying that this power comes back please guys power is back thank the heavens thank you for your prayers thank you for your prayers power is back but anyway i'll still have my breakfast because it's pretty late by now i should have had my breakfast it's quarter to 12 so i'll have my breakfast this is probably now what brunch so i'll probably not have lunch maybe a snack later and then dinner but yeah
So I fixed myself some smokies and some tomatoes. I know, I know guys, I know I overdo with tomatoes, but they are my favorite, favorite fruit, vegetable, whatever. I just love tomatoes so much. So I'm just gonna have my three smokies and two tomatoes and then have a glass of juice. I still have some water here. Then I'll look for something to watch for like 20 minutes and then we can go and see some plants. Damn grown up, this ain't a hookup, we could just burn up. I, I, I feel you so close up. I'm so sorry if I close up the entrance. So now I'm ready to leave to the plant nursery and I've worn this cardigan on top. It's long and it has like it's an oversized kind of design and the only reason I've worn it is because this dress has a design at the back and I really don't want any attention. Also I know it's getting a little bit late and I might need it for warmth. So yeah, so let's go to the plant nursery. Guys, can you see all the succulents we have here? I think she has all the different types of succulents. My goodness, so, so beautiful. Guys, I am so impressed. I'm thinking of getting this one and this one. Maybe even this one. My God, they're just so pretty. So, so pretty. So I've asked the prices and they've told me they range depending on the size of the pot. So the smaller ones are 100 shillings and then 200 shillings, 300 shillings and so on, which I think is quite fair for succulents. So I'll definitely carry so many succulents from here. So, so many. They are just so pretty to resist. guys so i've just gotten back home and as you've seen that nursery has some of the best plants i've ever seen like to be honest and she has so many so many plants so many succulents so many house plants so many outdoor plants so if you're looking for plants please stay tuned because once i get them and test my plants i'm going to share with you the plug and possibly you know uh, explain where it is so maybe you can get some for yourself but yeah so i just got back home i am so tired so so tired i've been in that nursery for like two hours so i found the owner and then the husband came and the husband was just giving me so much advice like i have <sighs> Man, sometimes it's just good to listen to this older generation because they have so much to say and so much to teach us. So I've been speaking with him for like a whole hour. We've spoken so much about how life is now, how we need to, you know, just be good people and all of that. And I've gotten his number. Apparently he's a mentor. So, you know, probably he can mentor me even more. But yeah, he has, he's, he's, he's really into mentoring and i've gotten so much from him so anyway guys i've just got it back feeling super tired i still have the article to finish and i still need to prep something for dinner and i don't even think i'll prep something to be honest i'll probably have fruits maybe some yogurt and that will be it so i did a short grocery haul i was hoping it was going to be a separate video but it's too short it was like nine minutes i think i'll insert it here and then end the vlog so first up is a bag of tomatoes really huge beautiful tomatoes so i usually get my tomatoes from 
come home but the last time i was there they were almost coming to the end of the season so i couldn't get you know fresh ones to carry so i bought some today and i mixed some ripe ones and unripe ones because i know this will take me at least two weeks so i'll keep them to ripen for a few days and then keep them in the fridge so this bag of tomatoes was 120 shillings which i thought was really fair because the prices i have been seeing i think i got this as a, at a very good deal and for your information these things i just bought them randomly some near my area at a grocery store near my area others in naivas i'll just give you a rate in case you're wondering if maybe this side of town is expensive or maybe cheaper so this cost me 120 shillings and then i got some spring onions this was only 10 shillings i got some because i want to make a soup and for sure for sure i know spring onion does well with soup so i bought this for 10 shillings at the grocery store near my home i got two bunches of dania each was 10 shillings so i paid 20 shillings for this then we keep going i have some fresh vegetables here i have some spinach and some malenge leaves or pumpkin leaves this cost me 20 shillings and this cost me 20 shillings so all this cost me 40 shillings i intend to mix the two and just make a really nice um you know greens mixed whatever mixed vegetable kind of stuff right so this will come in handy i'm trying to eat more vegetables and it's such a struggle it is such a struggle but i am trying so we keep going i got a bag here that has oh they give me a small mango but it has tangerines and it has apples the tangerines cost me a hundred shillings there are five of them so that's quite uh, expensive but i think they are off season and the fact that they are available is already a good thing right then i got some apples i bought six apples each was 30 shillings so of course a bit more expensive than i usually get them but i needed to stock up on fruits today because i am intending not to go outside for the next week or so then i thought of adding some vitamin c and i got some oranges this for 100 shillings for the three of them this is super super expensive then i got some avocado here are some avocados these are four avocados each was 20 shillings which pretty much is expensive if you ask me but i have tried these avocados before and they were so good i just had to get them from that mama that i bought from so yeah so 20 shillings for each no 100 shillings for all four so 25 shillings each okay it's fine healthy eating actually is very expensive if you ask me but we move we move we move so there's that and then i got a cogent this was 10 shillings from outside the supermarket as well then now let's talk about the things i bought from naivas because that's where i was going to shop first so i got some things these are not healthy but let me tell you let me tell you and let me be honest you know anytime i try to get healthy i try as much not to restrict myself from some food because i know i can binge on those foods if i don't eat them so i like to have a pack or two of crisps and i usually get the salted ones just to keep in the house and munch on if i feel like i want to have you know a junky kind of snack yeah so i got that and i also got some cheddar from neighbors as well so these are the only snacks i got and those will last i sometimes i even forget i have them then i got some uh, beef meat from naivas this was 200 shillings then i got some chicken wings this were 250 shillings then i got some chicken thigh on bone this were 230 shillings and finally for the meat i got some beef on bone this was 400 shillings so i have my meats for the week or probably two weeks so i might not need to buy those then from naivas as well i got these bell peppers so the two were 20 shillings surprisingly and these others were how much were these big ones the colored capsicum these ones were 130 shillings for the two and they are pretty big so i get why they could cost that much and these were 20 shillings so about 150 shillings for the bag and then i got some sugar 
Of course, I have to have some sugar in the house. The mask, the sugar was 128 shillings. Then I got some milk. Here is some milk, just two packets because I'm not taking tea as much. And if I do, I'm just taking black tea. So we'll have this, we'll have to do and this will last probably the rest of the month. So that's good. Last but not least, I got a coconut. I have been meaning to get coconut just to eat it as a snack. So I had to get some coconut. And that's all. That is all I got for my healthy grocery shopping. These things should last me at least two weeks. I might need to add on maybe some fruits or maybe some greens, but at least I am set for the next two or three weeks. And I have some left, so I think I am on the right path to healthy eating. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I know it was all over the place, all over the place. This is how life is sometimes. We just wake up and wing it. So today was a lot of winging it and I'm glad I did this so that you guys can see it's not all the time we have plans and stay on schedule and do things as we plan them to do. Sometimes they just go as they wish to go so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this vlog please make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't comment on the video and tell me what you thought of the vlog and yeah i will see you next time bye